and keep that line from a side down. You right there, ladies and gents, how's it going? A little bit of a Lord Vader time on this glorious sunny Sunday bank holiday Easter weekend. Man, been absolutely blessed this weekend. Stupendously awesome weather. Fantastic horse. But anyway, enough, enough of the uh, motor vlogging weather forecast. <laughs> so what am I doing? I'm just heading over to Riker's Cafe. Gonna get myself some lunch. It's a bit late actually. I uh, was out on the Raz last night with some mates who I've not seen for a long time. One over from Australia and another one from a couple of villages across who I don't catch up with anywhere near often enough. Uh, but yes, off to Riker's Cafe to get myself some foods. A bit hungry, a bit peckish. I actually briefly went clubbing last night. It was a silly idea. I got in, I walked around, realised I was old enough to be all of their parents. Had a drink and fucked off. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely too old for that malarkey. Um, but yes, it was a really good night last night. A little bit of karaoke. And a curry. And very many beers. I've been trying to uh, make a video the last few days on this bike explaining a mod I've just done to it. Now I know it's got very fancy suspension and it's all been set up by a professional uh, but they didn't set the ride height out and uh, they left it as it was standard out of the box. But I really fancied sharpening up the handling on this a little bit. Just a little. I want it to be nice and stable but also wanted it to turn a little bit faster. Now I was trying to do that as an all fancy pants 360 camera stuff like I've been doing with a lot of my other videos recently. Um, but I had serious camera fails on each time I tried to do it. And yeah, yeah, I just wasn't happy with the end result. So what have I done? I've dropped the bike down onto the front forks another 11 millimeters. It was supposed to be 10, but uh, yeah, the, the first one went a little bit further. So I just bought the other one in line with it. I can go up to 20 millimeters, which is uh, something I might experiment with in increments. So yeah, I've dropped it 11 millimeters, um, and I can go down to 20 and have gains in the sharpness of the steering. But I don't want to go all the way to 20 straight away without seeing if there's a sweet spot in between. So I'm on 11 at the moment and I might gradually increase that or I might not because I'm so absolutely happy with how much of a difference just that 10 millimeters made. Ooh, her misses. That's what she said. <laughs> so yes, it's, uh, it's made a world of difference. Now I'm not on my usual set of twisty roads to show you this so I'm not tear arsing around quite as much as I do along there. Not that I'm not familiar with these roads, it's just you sometimes get horses along here and I really don't want to come up on one of them by surprise. Whereas that other road I play on, you don't really get any horses along there. But yes, it's definitely sharpened up the steering. It's made it a lot easier to turn in. But this is a strange old bike, if you want to throw it around, you've really got to kind of throw it around, you've got to manhandle it a little bit, get strong on the old bars. And that's partly because it's quite a long bike for uh, its height, if that makes sense, um, for its geometry. And that's what you get with shaft driven bikes, I think. The, the gearbox and that just sets it up for being a slightly longer ride. Which is great for stability, it's fantastic for stability, but it can slow the cornering down a little. You wouldn't have thought that 10 mil would make all that difference. But it really, really did. Happiness. Now I'm imagining Rikers is probably going to be heaving. So I'm hoping I've timed this right to be able to get some food up there without having to queue too long. And they're pretty efficient. It feels like ages since I've been up to Rikers. I don't know when the last time was. But it's a nice little ride up there. It's a nice little ride indeedy do. 
and getting out on days like this it's, it's mandatory it'd be just criminal to have stayed at home all day I normally end up working the bank holidays when they're nice weather it just seems like that's the, the way of the sod always get caught with them um, but so far so good although I am actually working bank holiday Monday Yeah, absolutely round with idiots who can't park and think that they can get into smaller spaces and they can. Brilliant. Well, brilliant. <laughs> that was never going to work. <laughs> but yep, yeah, heaving, absolutely heaving. Just what you want to see on a sunny Sunday. Awesome stuff. Let's go get some food. Cheers mate. Well that's Box Hill done. Nice elegant sufficiency in my belly. is done and dusted. Awesome. Met up with a nice chap who's got an old kettle. Lovely looking two-stroke. And uh, met another chap there who's uh, got a racer, a Moto Guzzi racer, which uh, was very nice. Nice to have a little nap to with some randoms. And fantastic to get out on a bike. Absolutely bloody marvellous. Well, I'm on my way home now. I'm gonna give the suspension on this little beastie a quick workout. Put it through its paces and uh, put a grin on my face. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to click that subscribe button. It would be great to have you come back for some more of my videos as and when I post them. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a little thumbs up, we like them. And if you didn't, you can always give it a little thumbs down, that's all cool, we don't mind. But whatever you do, please, drop in a comment and let me know what you liked and what you didn't. Anyways, you were safe, take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Keep that bike, Ramasan down.